Hi guys, Jason here. So let's learn the chord pattern of the song by Cranberries called Zombie. A very popular song and it's been around for a while. It's, it's still popular. Uh, yeah, so it's, the chord progression is a very, very popular chord progression used in a lot of songs. So if you learn this, it can also play other songs. Uh, it can also help you to play other songs probably hundreds maybe thousands of other songs if you if you get this right right so i've written down the progression here using roman numbers that will show you the chord progression as per any scale however the original is on e minor which is der derived from g major they are both relatives of each other so before we get into the actual chords the progression is 6 4 1 5 six four one five very very popular it's also a cyclic chord progression so what that means is it could have been six four one five it can even be one five six four or four one five six and all these form formulate a lot of our, the pop music and the billboard chart music which you which you may find right so the six of the g major scale so what you need to do if you're not aware of the progression is to first write down the g major scale you can write it down it will have seven notes it has one sharp okay and you will realize that the sixth note g a b c d e is e and the two the three and the six form minor chords in a major scale that's a minor b minor and e minor and the one the four and the five form major chords okay so what they do is it's the one my it's a six minor four major one major and five major with a three bass so that makes this sound a little bit more dissonant since it's a rock song let's just see how that sounds E minor, <clears throat> C major, G major, D with F sharp, E minor, that's a 6, C major, all 4 times, G major once, and D with F sharp for 1 bar again. So try to play D in the right hand if you're a piano player and the F sharp in the left hand. And the guitar player, especially the heavier guitarist, could definitely use power chords to make it sound a lot more heavier. So that's... Which is the root, the fifth, that's and the octave. That's pretty much it, right? So <clears throat> when you're playing this song... You can also maintain a nice eighth note bass rhythm in the in the left hand. Now in the original song the bass player does sometimes just sticks with the roots. However, another pattern which you could try and do is At the end of the bar, go up a step, and if you are not comfortable doing it with octaves, you can perhaps do it with a single finger. That's the pre and then the chorus. Right? 
So have fun playing that and then um, you can Google this chord progression and there will probably be tons more which follow the same progression but maybe a different rhythm. Cheers. Catch you in the next video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell icon for notifications. Leave us a comment for any other video you'd like us to do next. And don't forget to share the video with all your musician friends. Cheers.